Hi everybody. So I had a prophetic vision and then a scripture that I found that I wanted to share with you today on this very beautiful sunny Queensland day outside. Um, I have puppies roaming around so you might see someone pop in but I um, know that there is a lot of swirling going around right now. There is some things happening in Australia. There's stuff happening across the world that is just not good. And I know that there is a, it's just such an intense, it's been an intense few days. I've spoken to several intercessors, prophetic friends who have, we've all agreed. It's just been um, like this spirit of like anxiety and just accusation and, and stuff that's been happening, swirling in the atmosphere. And so uh, we've just been praying into it. And while praying into some things this morning, I had this vision of uh, people that are just going through a really hard time right now, who were kind of marching around, they were upset, they were like, God, why? What's happening? And then suddenly it was as if the spirit of victory rose up over them. And it was a spirit, I call it the Caleb spirit. Y'all know I'm on the thing right now, Numbers 13 with Caleb. And I just saw this spirit rise up in them. And they were like, no, we know who our God is. And the intensity cracked when they began to shout. They just began to shout and it was sort of like the walls of Jericho, personal walls began to fall down. But in the shouting, something shifted where, I'm trying to articulate what I saw, but I saw that people were shouting and I saw that the heaviness, the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of despair and intensity was actually being lifted off of these people and there was a joy that started to come through their shout. And as they shouted and as there was joy and just not even laughter, just pure heaven joy, I saw that the, their countenance became that of, of Christ. And like Christ, there was fire in their eyes and they were just fiery and they were full of life and full of victory. And so I began to pray into that and then I was reading through Psalms and I've just been making my way through Psalms and I came across Psalm 89 verse 15. I'll read it to you in a few translations. Um, in the ESV it says, blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. And then in the Amplified, Blessed and happy are the people who know the joyful sound of the trumpet's blast. They walk, O Lord, in the light and favor of your countenance. And in the Passion Translation, it says that they walk in the radiance of your presence. And so I looked it up, and that word know is to be acquainted with. In the Hebrew, it means to know by experience, and so to be acquainted with. And when it talks about the shout of joy or the trumpet blast, what it's actually saying is that it's, it's an alarm and it's a battle cry, but it's also a shout of joy. And so going along with my vision, what I'm seeing is that as we begin to shout with shouts of joy, it is a battle cry a heavenly battle cry is going to be one that scares the enemy but is full of joy because we know that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So as you begin to shout and as you begin to just allow righteousness, peace, and joy to overflow you, those who know they're acquainted with the shout of joy, what's happening is I love the passion you're gonna walk in the radiance of his presence. And when you're walking in the radiance of his presence, nothing else matters. It's just his presence and his glory. So I just wanna encourage you today, 
even in the midst of the battle, raise a shout, raise a battle cry. If you have to do a prophetic act, go in your backyard, go in your private whatever and shout. Go in the shower, go in the car, shout shouts of joy. Lift it up to the Lord. And you're going to watch like the walls of Jericho come crashing down. Not only, and you know what, things may not even shift right away, but you know what is going to shift? You know what is promised is the presence, the presence of God. You are going to radiate with the presence of God. And nothing else is going to seem like it matters in that moment. And I want to encourage you with that. We are people of victory people of the kingdom and people of victory and we do not need to be rocked by circumstances even the worst of them so i hope that encourages you today be blessed with that